Before I begin, I'd just like to give a quick introduction because, let's face it, who wants to listen to some random 16-year-old on a stage talking about himself? I'm Phil DeVera, and I'm a junior here at Valencia High School in the International Baccalaureate Program. AKA, I'm living a pretty stressful life right now, but if you are too, you can do it because if you believe you can, it does not matter what anyone else thinks. Also, three years ago, I would have never imagined myself standing up here on the stage, but here I am, which leads me to my talk. I'm going, to, I'm going to be honest with all of you. As a kid, I was the one who wanted to be a know-it-all. I wanted to be known as the smart kid or even the geek. I wanted to stand out among my classmates and gain the respect to avoid being disregarded. A little fun fact about myself, in third grade, I was actually voted the smartest, which really boosted my little eight-year-old ego. <laughs> However, fast forward to freshman year, where I came across a new set of challenges. School didn't come to me as easy as it used to. I found myself constantly living in fear of saying the wrong thing in class because it would ruin my reputation as the smart kid. Fear towered over me, seeming too big to overcome. A certain moment comes to my mind, a time when I was speechless in the face of the dreaded class participation. <laughs> I had just been called on to give an answer, my face turned red as a tomato, and I held on to the hope that maybe, just maybe, a sea monster would come in, eat me, and save me from having to participate. But honestly, I allowed myself to be so voiceless, and I wouldn't let myself be heard. Even with the support of my teacher, who told me that I should just read what I had because she knew it was good, I still refused because I really doubted my own abilities. It's kind of crazy to see how my self-confidence could deteriorate so much during my transition to high school. But after this moment and other key successes and key failures in my first years in high school, I knew. I knew that I didn't want the biggest barrier to reaching my dreams to be myself. I came to the realization that maybe I can't be good at everything, but that I really wanted to be good at something. I was tired of being afraid. So, fast forward again now to my success story. The story of how I became the field drum major of the Valencia Tiger Regiment. Just to give a bit of background about what I do, because I'm pretty sure you all just think I play the drums, I'm going to demonstrate what I really do. Here are some clips of my band at the SCSBOA 5A Division Championships this past November, which I will be conducting along with. So I'm pretty sure you could all see me all the way in the back because, no, that was definitely not me in the front. Um, but as you can see, my job clearly entails a lot more responsibility than all the conducting that you just saw. I am meant to set the stage as the model band student that everyone strives to be. Now, going back to when I had to audition for the position at the end of May of last year, I had to show my director that I truly wanted this position. I realized that I wanted to become drum major during my freshman year because of our head drum major at the time, whom I looked up to, followed by the head drum major from my sophomore year. They both went through the IB program, yet their leadership was still impeccable. They grew to become some of my greatest friends, whom I go to 
for advice as I end my high school journey and prepare for college. However, struggles came when people started to belittle me, telling me that I wasn't assertive enough or that I had no chance of getting the position. Granted, I saw the reasoning. I played the trombone, a brass instrument, and they hadn't chosen a brass drum major in years. So I let this irrelevant trend get to me because we as teens are so susceptible to negativity. It's hard to have confidence in yourself when others don't. However, I just gave it my all. Instead of giving in to all the contradictions from so many people, some even coming from my closest friends, I used it as fuel to show them what I could really do. At the banquet later that week, I was announced as drum major. This just goes to show how a small attitude change can have a big impact and how you should let those who attempt to undermine you contribute to your ultimate success. The marching season this year was beyond my expectations because I was able to gain so many people's trust and having their belief in me really boosted my self-confidence, which had a direct correlation with my, the effectiveness of my leadership. Having such a high position in this band really caused me to change my attitude and forced me to step out of my comfort zone. I was tasked with leading our hour-long exercises, which consisted of me hitting drumsticks at a steady tempo while yelling at people to do the right thing because sometimes people just don't listen. It taught me how to be resilient because I knew that I could stand up for myself and for what I believed in, and it shows how trusting in your own abilities can lead you to the successes and the chances of a lifetime, like getting the opportunity to stand on a stage and give a TEDx talk that empowers. Everybody needs to have a little faith in themselves, and they need to put their happiness before anyone else's because it's impossible to accommodate everyone. Once you have confidence in yourself, then you can start helping others. I am so grateful that I garnered the strength from my past high school experiences to reach a dream of mine because as hockey player Wayne Gretzky once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I definitely would have regretted not trying out for drum major, and it just goes to show how self-confidence is a key that unlocks your own happiness and doors to so many opportunities. There is definitely a key in everybody, so I challenge all of you, find something that you thought you couldn't do and try it. You will be amazed at how much you can accomplish if you just believe. Find the key to who you want to be. Thank you.